Steady. Easy does it. At a girl. Almost there. Ha! We're there. Showtime! The Marble Life's Katie Zerilli's in Federalsburg, where you're invited to take a trip back in time. Katie, what's going on? Yeah, Jimmy, it's safe to say that this is a piece of equipment that you probably won't see out in the field operating nowadays. But I'll tell you when you actually can see this guy in action. That is coming up next weekend at the Eastern Shore Thresherman Show, and I cannot wait to find out more. I'm here with Brenda Stant, who's a secretary. Brenda, this is going to be cool. Yes, we are um, celebrating our 60th show this year. The show started in 1961 with a simple wheat thrashing, and it was designed to um, show people what it was like, what their fathers and grandfathers had to use, what kind of equipment they had to use, how hard their life was to simply put food on the table. And it has grown into a much larger show now. <laughs> and uh, we have people come from all over the uh, country. and. Yeah. This equipment is um, like over, some of it's over 100 years old. I mean, you know, you go to a museum and it's all just sitting still, but you can come out here and it'll be in operation. And it's actually showing how things were used, how this equipment was used and what they did with it. And we have plenty of good food and flea markets. And yeah. we even have a miniature steam train that um, kids can ride on. And uh, it's just a whole lot of fun. And we have um, free admission and free parking, so you can come out and spend three days and you don't have to spend a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not going to pretend I know what this machine would do, so I need you to tell me. What this, is this? How does it work? OK, <laughs> this is what is called a steam traction engine. OK. And it was used back, um, they started using those in the 1800s, mm -hmm. and they were used up until the up until World War II mostly and um, it runs on steam that was before they were using gas or di gasoline or diesel mm -hmm. and um, it was basically a farm tractor that ran on steam and in this part of the country they were mainly used for the belt power mm -hmm. which meant that uh, it would power like a thrasher and, and um, where today the combine goes out in the field and mm -hmm. harvests the grain back then it had to be cut and brought up to the thrasher and then pitched in and it would um, separate the grain from the straw yeah. and they also used them to power sawmills and things like that. 60 years of this show. Yes. Your father started it. Yes. What does the 60th anniversary mean to you? Well it means a lot to us. I mean it's um, something that we've been doing our whole lives were into the third generation of my family, fourth generation of my family that are helping with it, and um, and a lot of other people. We have a lot of volunteers. It's mm -hmm. not not yeah. just our family. <laughs> it's a lot of volunteers yeah. that come. It's a nonprofit organization, so we have, you know, people from all over come and help to put the show on, and um, we do it for for the community and yeah. to try to. To show very little of this type of history is taught in schools. So it's our duty, I guess, yeah. to say that, uh, you know, we feel that it needs to be shown. It needs to be taught to, yeah. the, to the younger generations. Absolutely. And, it, um, and we felt this year was especially important to have the show, to do all we could, because it seemed like everybody needed something to hang on to to be a sense of normalcy yeah. like because so much stuff had been canceled and yeah. you know we we've been really working hard to get make sure we got everything that we need to do precautions <laughs> are in place all the precautions are in place yeah. and the the extra sanitizing and everything but um you know we just felt that we needed to do this mainly for the community and for for everyone to awesome. have something that they usually do that they can still do this year awesome Brenda Stan, thank you so much. Well, thank you. So excited for you guys. Not going to want to miss this event, of course, August 7th, 8th, and 9th here in 
Federalsburg. Well, coming up next, our next stop here on Del Marvel Life today is Lisa's Kitchen, where we are learning to make apple pie cupcakes. Mmm, Del Marvel Life, stay with us for the sweetness.